down the drain by people that don't have this country's best interest at heart or their incompetence. The infrastructure in New York State is considered by all to be a total and complete disaster. One third of the state's major highways and 45% of its major roads, I know that, I hit a lot of fires, are in very bad condition, poor or fair. Now, Illegal immigration costs New York taxpayers over $5 billion every year. We're going to get it going, folks. We're going we're gonna to get it going. Don't worry. Hey, is that a depressing report? I hate to read it. In fact, we have most of you. Where's Sheriff Butch? Where's Sheriff? Where is he? Where's Butch? One of the toughest guys. You don't want to be a criminal in this area, I want to tell you. Butch, Butch will take care of business, right? But, and it's great that he's here. And so many law enforcement, and by the way, law enforcement has to be given far more respect. These are great people. And we don't give them proper What about this guy, ladies and gentlemen? See, that shows, that shows how aggressive Butch is. I said, where's Butch in the audience? Raise your hand, he walks on the stage. That's an aggressive person. That's what we need. We need a little more aggression in this country. So, here's the story, folks. We're going through, we're winning by a lot. We have a very, very big vote coming up on Tuesday. That vote is so vital, and we have to win by big numbers, because we have a system that's absolutely rigged. It's rigged. We have a rigged system. Thank you. Thank you. Don't, don't pay. I think he's on our side, actually. You know, a lot of times I'll hear somebody screaming during what I'm saying, and I'll think they're a protester, and they're actually on my side. So leave them. So look. We have a system that's rigged, we have a system that's crooked, we have a system that's got a lot of problems, and we have a system that doesn't allow the people to vote in many cases, and if they do vote, their vote isn't really representative of what it should be. We have this delegate system, which is a sham, so in Colorado, the people are going crazy out there because they never got a chance to vote. Everywhere you see with the dishonest media, they say, well, we never change anything. Well, that's wrong. Because I was going to win Colorado with the people, which is the only thing that matters. And I announced on June 16th. And in August, they changed. They changed it so the people no longer vote. Because they saw who's going to vote. Same thing happened in Florida, but it was a reversal. They didn't know what was going on. I was going to run, and I announced I was going to run. And so was Jeb Bush, and so was Marco, the senator, see, the governor of the senator, right? And everybody assumed they'd easily win Florida. So they changed the system. And they made it in all, in other words, you get all the delegates if you win. You win by one vote, you get all the delegates. So they said, all right, this is a good way of taking advantage of Trump. So they made it so that whoever wins gets all of the delegates, a big one, Florida, like second biggest, I think, after California, which, by the way, a new poll just came out in California 20 minutes ago. CBS, 49% for Trump. We're winning everywhere, but you gotta go vote. So in Florida, what happened is they changed it so that winner take all, winner take all. So they figured Jeb or Marco. There's only one problem. About two weeks after they changed it, a poll came out and it said Trump is gonna kill everybody. And then we ended up winning by 20 or 21 points. They made a bad calculation, right? But anywhere you have a situation where we're voting, that's where I do well. Where the bosses are in, I can do better with the bosses than anybody. Believe me, I deal with bosses. I've dealt with the bosses all my life. I've done very well politically. I just don't want to. I could have gone out to Colorado. I'm sure I could have met the head guy. I'm sure I could have wined him and dined him and taken him to Mar-a-Lago and put him on private planes, sent him all over the place, which is legal, but that's not democracy. You know, you're allowed, essentially, to pay off these people. 
you're allowed to pay off these delegates. And again, we want to be smart. We want to be fair. And it shouldn't be allowed. So in Colorado, I said, don't play the game. Let's keep it so that I love it. I love spending the least, having the best result. They were killing everybody. So here's the story. So they go out and they're whining and dining, and you have no idea what's going on with those delegates. It's a crooked process, folks. Okay? It's a dishonest process. That has nothing to do with democracy. The fact that you're taking all these people out and whining them and dining them, nobody does that stuff better than me. I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. And now you have Wyoming that just came out. Not a lot of delegates, but it would be easy. I'll go, I'll fly to Wyoming, I'll meet the chairman. I guarantee you within 10 minutes he's my best friend. He'd drop a guy like Cruz in about two seconds, okay? But I just don't want to do it because it's not the right thing to do. We have a bad system, and the system has to change. So, and, and we've been getting a lot of good press on it. I mean, a lot of good press. And what's happening is we're now starting really the final drive. And we have New York, where we're doing great. We're having Pennsylvania, where we're doing great. Maryland, we're doing so great in so many places. Now, you know that Massachusetts, we got almost 50%. But it helps that Tom Brady likes me. Do we agree? That was one. It does help that Tom Brady. But we've done great. And you know, it's funny. I watch this guy. I have to tell I feel I'm talking to friends here. This is like a friendly crowd. Well, I'll give you... I'll give you an example. Okay, I'll give you an example. A friendly crowd. Although my hand is... Forget. So, backstage, my brother calls and a couple of other... Do you mind shaking hands with maybe five or ten people? And taking pictures? No problem. I get here, there had to be 250 people. I was there for, you know, an hour. So that's called New York, okay? That's called aggression. That's called aggression. Including my brother. Including Anne Marie. I get there, I say, wait a minute, wait a minute, I don't want, look, look how long that line, you have no idea. I'm telling you, I've been back there for an hour doing this stuff. And then they said, no signatures, we have to run them by. Every single person, please, would you sign this? Okay. Please, would you, what am I going to do? I have to sign it, or they won't vote for me, and now I'm a politician. Can you believe it? So, we're going to straighten things out. We're going to bring jobs back. We're going to bring jobs back to our country. We're going to bring jobs back to New York. New York State is right now a total and complete disaster. We're losing our manufacturing. We're losing our jobs. We're losing our economy. People are forced to leave and you don't want to leave and you have your house and your house is worth less now than it was 15 years ago. And you know, we, I know all the problems. We're going to change that. We're going to turn it around. We're going to turn it around very fast. You're going to be amazed how fast it's going. statement that I wrote. I was so honored when China, the head of finance for China said about Donald Trump, okay? I was honored because now maybe people are going to start looking. I don't even think our leaders know that China's ripping us off, okay? I don't even think they know. And you're going to go home, you're going to look at my answer. I think you're going to say, finally, finally, that's what we need, finally. But it's not just China, it's Japan. What they do with currency is unbelievable, the devaluations. It's Mexico, it's Vietnam, it's any country you can think of, any country, any country. So we're going to bring it back. So here's the story, folks. In two days, meaning Tuesday, you're going to go, you're going to vote. You're going to get all your friends, get all those friends. You're going to vote. And we've got to really create a mandate. You know, I've been on the cover of Time Magazine many, many times over the last short period of time. And they're talking about what's happening here. They actually say this. This isn't me because I have all this live television. If I say it, they're going to say, he didn't say it. They're saying, what's happened has perhaps never happened in the history of our country. Okay? This is really something special. This is a movement. They actually call it a movement. This is not just in I go to Dallas, we had 21,000 people. We filled up the Mavericks Arena. I go to 
Mobile, Alabama, 35,000 people. No matter where we go, we have thousands. Tampa, 25,000. Orlando, 25,000. Here, you have here and your ice rink. And I'm going into the ice rink in a couple of minutes, so I gotta see those people, right? Should I? Should I? I gotta see. Okay, they came. And they said there's never been anything like this. I mean, this building is not exactly new. And they said there's never been anything like this, where this room is packed and that room is packed. And it's just one of those things. It's a movement. And you know what it is? It's a movement for common sense, it's a movement for jobs, it's a movement for a strong military and taking care of our veterans.